You must have heard a lot of inspiring stories of use of biogas in India. Biogas is used by a lot of farmers in India as a cooking fuel. On the other side, a lot of people in rural India use biogas to produce electricity. There is a Mexican company called Sistema Bio, which has its manufacturing plant at Pune in Maharashtra. This company makes inflatable and portable biodigesters, which are very easy to maintain and produce biogas. Sistema Bio also uses carbon credits and corporate funds like CSR to make biogas affordable for the farmers of India. In this special episode, we talk to Pius Sohani and we try to understand how this company is using carbon credits to make biogas more affordable for the farmers of India. Welcome to I Am Renew. This is Manish Kumar and you are watching Green Talks. reasons i think why we started uh, in maharashtra was we wanted to establish somewhere central point so that we could cater to south center and north uh, so maharashtra seems to be uh, more preferable at that point uh, and then we also needed a proximity to the port so we could if required we could import and if required we can also export if you see the dairy belt in india uh, it's not just situated in Maharashtra. So dairy farmers are situated all across India. Um, north is actually a very big, uh, very big state, uh, UP, Bihar, um, Haryana, Punjab, very big dairy belt. Um, and of course, the states that we have done most of the work in the last uh, three years are Maharashtra, Karnataka and Gujarat. But now we have started to expand to uh, almost all of our country. 21 states we have installed so far. Now, we know that we want to reach to uh, millions of farmers in India. So to do that, we have taken a partnership approach. We partner with organizations who have a big network, who have a direct access to the farmers. And one example is National Dairy Development Board, who have 17 million dairy farmers with them. We also partner with few, few private dairies who have thousands and thousands of farmers who, whom they interact with daily. So this reduces our promotion cost or rural marketing cost, if you were to say. And we could not go and do by ourselves. Same thing that we do in installation. We, we partner with organizations who have rural uh, technicians, and then we, uh, we work with them uh, so that it reduces our installation and service cost. So we have two sets of customers, uh, you could say. The first, of course, the user, the beneficiary, is the dairy farmer. Uh, for for dairy farmers, our product is made, and dairy farmers take the benefit of biodiesters. And they, uh, once the product is installed, they don't have to buy LPG gas, they don't have to use the firewood, uh, and there are many more benefits with biogas. Uh, but we know that these farmers, not all of the farmers can afford the product. There are many farmers who are uh, who, whose income is not uh, that much that they can afford the product. So what we do is we take uh, very innovative financing modes. So we work with the government, we work with the corporates who have net zero plans. And using the net zero and sustainability or climate financing uh, funding, we subsidize the products for the farmer. So we have registered our own carbon program and through the carbon program, we are, channel we are channeling climate financing for small farmers. So because of that, uh, there is one dedicated program that we run along with NDDB at which farmers will be able to afford the product, afford the biodiesters between 6,000 to 9,000 rupees uh, depending on the geography. Okay, so any small family either living in urban area or rural India typically uh, requires one cylinder a month Okay, as a rule of thumb. Now in rural area, in the dairy farmers, if we install a biodiesters, uh, then they will completely stop using LPG. That means one cylinder today costs 1,200 rupees. So that saving every month starts from month one. 
until 10 years. So we provide a warranty for 10 years. The so plant life is 10 years. So for 10 years, they don't have to buy LPG cylinder. And our product cost uh, through different financing mechanism between uh, its full price, like a family size system will cost about 50, 35 to 40,000 rupees. But because we use climate financing mechanisms, Today, the farmers pay between 6,000 to 10,000 rupees, uh, depending on the different area uh, location. So the, the payback is less than like six to eight months. Yeah, so there are two mechanisms. The one mechanism is the government program, in which government provides, central government gives a subsidy of 15,000 rupees, and then there is state government subsidy on top of it. Uh, in some state, it is 2,000, some state, it is 4,000, like that. Uh, so that is the government program, uh, that's, a, that's a different one. And the second one is our climate financing program, where we partner with corporates who have their net zero goals and who dedicate some funding to reduce their emissions. So they invest in program that we, we make in which uh, that financing is used to subsidize the price of the biodiester for the farmers. And through carbon program, they are able to uh, claim reduced emissions uh, through this network. Yeah, so uh, so we work with a number of corporates. A uh, few examples I can give you is uh, we have uh, worked uh, for the last three years, uh, more than three years with Infosys uh, and Infosys Foundation. Uh, we work with Nestle um, and uh, we also work with some international corporates uh, to run the carbon program. Um, so, so far, we have been implementing voluntary carbon market. We have been working in that. We, regist we have registered our program in gold standard, and all the credits were uh, being sold in the voluntary market. Now, what government is bringing is that they are trying to uh, make uh, in-house um, credit program. That is, a, a one, there is one green credit program, and there is Ministry of Power carbon credit program. So, but both of them will allow uh, corporates and companies in India to trade carbon credit. So, but for to trade the carbon credit, someone has to generate the credits. And that's where Sistema Bio comes in. What we do is, as, as, for, with one biodiester that we install, generates 10 carbon credits in a year. So, uh, using those credits, corporates can buy those credits and that money will be channelized to the farmers to reduce the cost. And so thereby, more and more farmers can uh, adopt biodiesters. It will help generate more credits, and it will help corporates to reduce their emissions. I would say so far the technology was one hindrance. Uh, technology were not technologies were not matured enough that it could be commercialized at scale. But now we are at a point of time where technologies have matured, either for compressed biogas or for small biogas. Uh, technologies have matured and at the same time uh, we are seeing the government has is pushing the biogas sector very much so it is allowing more and more corporate companies or private companies to come into the sector so thereby more and more innovation is happening it is also driving more fi financing into the sector okay so all of these things and of course with the global climate movement we um, there is so much of waste which is generated uh, either at, the, at a small farm or in the urban areas. So all of that waste has a huge potential to generate biogas. At this point, we are not thinking about bio CNG. Uh, we are mostly focusing on the decentralized usage of biogas. So we are focusing on the rural market. We know that uh, India's potential is huge. 70 million farmers are there who need biogas. Um, so we want to be remain in that space. So um, of course, the the best use of biogas is to use directly as on the thermal energy for cooking, okay? Because it replaces LPG, it replaces firewood. So that is the best use. In case there is more biogas available, which cannot be utilized for cooking or thermal need, it can be converted into electricity. In fact, we offer. Uh, the complete package to the farmers who have uh, more number of cows. I'll give an example. If a farmer has roughly, say, 50 cows, so for the cooking, he will use probably one or two hours of cooking, okay? But the rest of the gas, 
can be converted into electricity and that electricity can run all the appliances at the farm. Either it is water pump or it is milking machine or it lights or fans or anything. So, uh, talking about viability of, uh, of the bio, bio diester. So, technology like bio diester, uh, it is beneficial for the farmers. Uh, even if there is a ample electricity come, uh, solar is not a replacement of biogas because it, is, it involves cooking and you cannot use cooking for, uh, you cannot use solar for cooking, okay. There is a good traction coming in the market for induction stuff, but I think within knowing the Indian uh, cooking pattern, I think it, it is very far. So biogas is not a very ready, it cannot be very easily replaced. Now coming back to the kind of capacity building, in any geography that we operate, in any district of India that we operate, we set up a service infrastructure to operate for the next 10 years because our product warranty is for 10 years. So we will always have a dedicated technician team and we hire local technicians who are from that area. We train those local technicians so that we can provide services for the next 10 years. For us, in terms of technology, um, there is no direct competitor, I, I would say, but there are technology uh, but other fuels are our competitor, like LPG is a competitor. If, if for example, tomorrow government announces, like many state government have started to announce subsidy, additional subsidy for LPG, for example. So then uh, it, it is a little bit harder for us to promote biogas uh, because if LPG is like tremendously subsidized, say 200 rupees or 300 rupees cylinder, then people may not like opt for biogas or more uh, simple solution. Um, but a traditional fuel like LPG is, is our, our competitor. Uh, in biogas space, um, fixed dome units, Deen Mandru design, KVC design, these are promoted by the government uh, in the local area. I think they are very similar to like rural toilet scheme or these kind of programs. But uh, so these are our main competitor. But in India, I don't think there is any direct competitor in rural small biogas sector. Uh, so one of the best thing about the our kind of technology uh, is that it can be uh, manufactured in the factory. Now our technology is compared with uh, concrete based systems, brick and cement based system. Uh, so previously in the last 40 years government has done a good job. They have installed I think more than 5 million biogas systems in India. Um, so all of those systems were made with brick and uh, civil construction. Now, one of the challenge with those kind of technology is that you cannot control the quality uh, of each and every plant. They are generally made with the local masons and they are trained masons who, man, who make these plants. Uh, and in case of there is a slight deviation in uh, sand and water ratio, sand and uh, cement ratio, then these plants would start to develop cracks. And as soon as they start to develop cracks, the biogas plant would fail. But in our case, the technology is manufactured in the factory. They are quality controlled and once they are sent from here, there is no chance of leakage because the material is made in such a way that it does not get affected by sun, rain or any kind of weather changes. So it is flexible in nature. It can be easily, it can be installed in one day, for example, as compared with the civil construction design, which used to take two to three weeks of time to install.